coming back out now from Little Moss Nook. So we're going to have a wander around now. See if we can find anything. And yeah, we're going to go straight on the car park. As you can see, there's ice in the margins up, up this end. This is a small end. We're going to have a little wander around the lake now, see if we can find anything. can see you are behind a, a lock gate just behind the car there you've got the toilets we'll walk down this far bank to the bigger side my favorite part me and the little in it's looking uh, quite choppy down here nice and clear Coming up to our first two swims in the big side. I do keep saying only six swims, it's not it really, it's eight swims, it's only six anglers at a time. But if you get three, four down here, it does get a bit busy and up there, two of you can work out well. And if the next two swims, as you can see, nice and clean swims. Quite spacious, easily fit a two man bivy in here. This is the pier swim. Fished this one before, good result from here. Fishing over on the reed line, over there, landing myself a nice new 20 pounder from out of here. Water's looking, still looking nice and clear, still quite a bit of weed. And we'll just move round now to the next swim, which is the tree line. As you know, I've done a vlog from this one. Got a bit of ice in the margin here. And this one's a nice, a nice clean swim also. And if you remember last time fishing this in the hill in the snow, I had one in the zig. And then just, just on packing off I had that 11 pounder. I'm gonna walk around to the other side where the sun's down on the, the wind is blowing into the but climb a tree and uh, see if we can spot anything don't fancy the top end as the sun isn't really hitting that side so it's all on here it always is at this time of year as you can see it's a fairly built up area there is plenty of trees and a bit of cover for your photos and stuff. It's what you make of it yourself. <clears throat> yeah, we're coming up to now one of the old swims, which I use this for, for a baiting swim. It's ideal when you're fishing in the bear lifts. To the left, just off them stumps that are about to rod when it drops down to about 13 foot. The sun's on it, but uh, we'll get up a tree now and we'll see if we can see anything. Just been up the tree in the bear lift swim, can't see anything. Had a good scan round, there is a bit of a cat ice in this margin. I do like this swim because you've got all this lake here and there's only me and the daughter here and today the daughter's going to be uh, having a little bash with a little pipe rod set it up on a little bag for her see if she can entice anything else because these margins do look nice it's just that wind pumping in here but they could they could be on it this time it, it is quite warm here bit of a nippy wind we're, uh, I'm going to check up the other side now and see what it feels like up there and see if we can spot anything. We'll make our way around to the next swim. A bit of fish before and we're lucky enough to uh, land fish from. But as you can see, you can actually just walk down here and you're fishing this reed line at the right time of the year. Or maybe through the day in the winter while the sun's on it 
and the uh, bear top for it. This is just the, uh, the little outlet, it's just a small outlet. You do see a lot of fish there during the warmer months. And we're just making our way around now to the uh, Sunken Island swim. It's not the big swim. I just hope you can hear me. As it is quite windy, I've not got a microphone or anything and I'm just using the phone. Here we go, this is the Sunkel Island swim. Sunkel Island is just out there. It does get quite weedy. But there's a nice common in here, what I keep seeing. It keeps showing itself there. Quite a few times. So, this could be another area to get on. But it's just that wind and a bit rid of it. So let, let's uh, make our way around the next swim, which is uh, the Narrows. Just giving you a quick little overview of the water. You know, you've got, you've got all the reef line here, the rushes. Averaging around four foot in front of them. That is always worth a rod through the day. <coughs> This is uh, the Narrows swim. Not really called the Narrows just because of the little swim where you put your rods. It's quite shallow in front of your ear, but that's where the, uh, the cut through has been widened. Quite shallow going through there, there is a little bit of a drop. You do see fish in there. So we're going to have a wander around now and have a look there, see if there's anything in the gap in that sun. You never know. It is cold, my hands are bloody freezing now. A lot of work going on here removing stuff where they've dug it all out. nice shallow area it's looking quite nice this see if you, if you see anything now in this channel it does drop off it does drop off there just under the tree into the main body of the lake and I'm thinking that's what, what they're using but you never know right I will get back to you shortly because this is dragging on to the small end here now where we started off on the opposite side to where the car is this is the bridge swim it's an old swim they used to call it because there used to be a bridge going over the channel. It's very shallow. <coughs> In the margins there is drop-offs out there. Just have a little lead around, same everywhere. Lead around, find them gaps in that weed. You never know. So there's some nice fish in here. And we'll move over to the next swim. This is what I like. Not really fancied it, but as you can see, this part of the lake is a hell of a lot calmer than anywhere else. And I wouldn't be surprised if we actually spot a few now amongst this weed in this sun where it's getting warm. So I'm going to go off camera now once I've been to this swim because I've got some little areas where I, I do see them. And here we come to Bashers. It's lovely and warm. Looking like we could set up here with the little in. You say there is plenty of weed, as you can maybe you can just about make out. 
underwater. But uh, there is getting some sun, there is some cat ice over there. There is a chance the whole whole of the lake, no matter where we set up, uh, I'm out, out, mostly out of the wind. If, if you can just see just over off the corner of the island there, just in a little shape on the the clay area, which is about four foot, it's going to be worth a rod just to that. We've got all this side to ourselves for now. See if any more people are due down. Or uh, that's just a little look of the lake for £17 for the 24 hours. Sorry if I keep going on about it. Uh, I'm not paid by Neil in any way, shape, or form to publicise it. It's just that it's a nice little water. Obviously, it's not everyone's cup of tea, it's in a built up area. But like I said, you are behind the lock gate, you have got the toilets there. You know, not the facilities that you'd have at the likes of Clareview Fisheries or Linear and uh, Lynch Hill, places like that. But just for get away up north for a quick overnight or two nights, it's worth a go. A few 20 pounders. Some very nice looking doubles in here. Nice scale patterns, some nice, very nice commons. It's been a common out this week, as well as um, a mirror and uh, week before last there was a nice £25 mirror out so maybe it's just a look right so I'm going to stop rambling on about the water now I'm going to have a quick look good look now around this down the side here of this tree because this is where they have seen them before but there has been other anglers fishing it and I do know that Quite a few fish have been coming out of this area over the winter. Just that I prefer the other side because there's only there's one more swim over there, and that's called the the cove. Um, but I, I think we need to be in the sun for as many hours as we can. And this 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 swim does look like it's getting a lot of sun. There's a, a lot of areas what we can fish to all around. So I'll leave it there and uh, let's go and get the stuff. Let's get some let's get fishing. Thanks for watching.